Welcome to day three of my first multi-night cruise. Day one saw us come from Yuminoshima Marina to Misaki, where we spent the night, uh, sailed and motor sailed most of the way. Day two, in the last episode, you will have seen us uh, sail wing on wing to Oshima, the land of Godzilla, and the island is actually inspired Cinnabar Island within Pokemon. So that, that was kind of interesting. All the ports were closed except the southern one, which the Fishermen's Association allowed us in. But now on day three, we travel up to Hota, where I'm going to spend several days exploring the coast. Um, it was my first uh, glimpse of the Pacific and particularly the deep blue of the Pacific. So welcome on board. Join us as we go to Hota in Chiba. Oh, and even now, please click like and subscribe. I'm ever so grateful. Welcome to Pacific Solo. Hey, I'm Lowell. And this is Pacific Solo. I have to prepare myself for the greatest challenge of my life. Crossing the North Pacific via what I'm calling Nemo North. The place in the North Pacific furthest away from land in any direction. But before I can ever leave for Nemo North, I need blue water experience. I currently have none. So join me, Pacific Solo Season 2, as we search for blue water. Good morning, hey, we had mahi mahi for breakfast. <laughs> Thanks to our cameraman. <laughs> I wake up in the morning in this great blue state Golden fingers caress my face Slips through the window on a silky breeze A dreamer's life to plant some seeds So I often have had problems with the starting the engine and it's usually to do with a killer switch where I lose all power and I have to fiddle with that before I can get it started. When we were about to pull up the anchor on day three, uh, the engine wouldn't start but it, it didn't have the usual symptoms. I was getting power and uh, it turned out to be the starter motor in the celluloid and I could only start it by putting a screwdriver across the two. Uh, inputs and outputs from the battery and get a spark. Uh, so learned, um, and also, uh, as I said, learned how to anchor as well, which was an interesting experience. The water was beautiful, and uh, loved the swimming. Okay, here we are. At Oh, to port. Mine is washing the decks like a good captain. And the other captain and this captain are going to pay for the uh, 10 bucks a night at this marina. There's lots of fish, she says. And we have to go to this place here. No mask. I forgot. Me too. And two nights stay by the south. Okay. Okay.
sailing. So thank you for viewing uh, day three of um, this multi-day cruise. Uh, coming up in the next episode, there's going to be more fun in the water and then a solo journey starting in the middle of the night back to the marina uh, in uh, Tokyo Bay. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. Please like, leave a comment. It all helps put wind in the sails of the YouTube algorithm and get my boat moving uh, in that uh, mysterious sea that I don't really understand. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day. Please like, please share, and please say comments below. Also, you can check out the Pacific Solo store. There's now some products online. All that helps support the educational projects that Pacific Solo is trying to create to help students learn awareness of the oceans. So thumbs up, like, share. Take care, everybody.